I don't see a whole lot of content about the Sportster S with the Rev Max motor in it out here on YouTube. Not much at all. So I decided to bring out this 2022 pre-owned unit that belongs to Speedway Harley Davidson to show you why I feel like this bike is fun as Check check, real quick, important specs. Weighs 502 pounds wet, 121 horsepower, and 94 foot-pounds of torque. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. But of course, you get more things like this 160 front tire with the 180 rear, so it's got that fat, beefy look. I think it looks kind of aggressive, and it should for the way it rides. You get this cool, let me flick it on, TFT display that gives you a lot of information that, like, my Sportster ain't got. You get navigation, you get Bluetooth, you've got cruise control on here. Look at the display. You've got rider modes such as rain, sport, road mode. I think there's some more in here too. You get all this information right there on that display and that display looks good. My only gripe with this motorcycle, which I'm going to get that out in the beginning, is the forward controls. I feel like it should have mid. In case you aren't one of those Harley Davidson innovator haters, this bike is actually part of Speedway Harley Davidson's NNTN event, which means it has an amazing price on it. I think it's around 13.5, 13.6, something like that. Don't quote me on it. But I feel like that's a steal for a 2022 Sportster S with only 48 miles on it. Hmm. This thing even got heated grips, cruise control, got different modes. All right, we're going to start off in rain mode up here in this. Okay, I got two gripes. I don't like the sound of this with its stock exhaust. It needs a little bit better sound, but who cares about that? You'll see why. You'll see. I don't care about none of that right about now. All right, so while I am parking lot pimping, as I'm going to call it, just playing in this little parking lot right here, I want y'all to comment down below reasons you buy a motorcycle or want to ride a motorcycle or, or even watching motorcycle-related content. Let me give y'all a second. I hope y'all are typing. You probably ain't. Half of y'all must not be able to like type or spell. I can't spell either. But don't be afraid. No one's going to judge you. Comment down below. Why do people buy motorcycles? Why are you watching motorcycle videos? Or what do you think the purpose of a motorcycle is? A lot of people are going to put down their commuting. But for me, it's stress relief. It's fun. It's excitement. It's that thrill factor. It's the joy of not having to be in a car. Am I right? Now, some people buy cars that are extremely fast. Them performance cars that go ridiculous speeds. But them cars are expensive as hell, ain't they? They're expensive. Now, Harley-Davidson being a premium brand. But they don't make sport bikes. They don't. They're not sport bike manufacturer. Their bikes aren't covered in complete plastics. You know, they're meant for longevity and for riding and enjoying. Now, this bike, I'd say it's kind of like a hybrid of that. It's built right in between. It's meant for that enjoyment, but it's fast. And that's what I'm saying. That's why people buy motorcycles, to have fun on. And this, uh, by far, is an extremely fun machine because of its speed and its performance and how it hugs the road we're in rain mode there's not a lot going on in rain mode you'll have complete throttle control you know nothing to be afraid of a noob can ride this baby in rain mode because it doesn't have that twitchy throttle you know it's toned way down at that point but then you hit that button while you're riding and you can switch it into rain i mean in the road mode which is going to give you what a standard cruiser would have maybe a little bit more <laughs> it's a little bit more torque than a standard cruiser when you're in road mode but it's fun it is fun when you're in road mode you're getting plenty of performance but me i could care less about road mode so i'm not about to stay in road mode you turn this corner i'm riding road mode for about 10 seconds and doing this sport mode baby let's do it we out here we out here all right so road mode gives you this Hit the throttle. You get a, get a little bit of torque. A little bit of performance. A little bit of fun. You hit that button again. You go into sport mode. And it's like, whoa! <laughs> 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 Woo! This is totally 
different machine. This bike, I feel like some of the execs or whoever at Harley were sitting around like, let's bring the fun. Let's make something that's ridiculously fun. Fuck comfort. Let's have a black, let's do what sport bike makers are doing. Let's have some fun with this motorcycle. And they did a great job. <laughs> it handles the road really well. It is stylish. It will move, baby. I ain't going too fast right here because there's some gravel shit on the ground. But this bike is a blast to ride. You get plenty of performance control. It is hugging the road like it's got performance suspension on this girl. I, this is the type of Harley you want if you live for adrenaline and fun and you want a Harley Davidson. Like, this is a fun a motorcycle. This would make an excellent second bike or for someone who only does city commuting. They don't do too many long rides. You ain't riding with your spouse. You might pick up a girl every once in a while or a guy, you know. A lot of girls are out here on bikes now too, so I'm not going to say girls are always on the back. I have seen some dudes on the back of some bikes. But it's fun. It is a fun machine to ride. And you will not be disappointed. Look at how it handles. I mean, this, this is probably, in my opinion, one of the easiest maneuvering Harleys there is. Like, it just handles so well. It has that short wheelbase, and it's fast, man. This thing, that's why I'm slowing down. Because it's fast. This bike's fast as hell. All right, let's see. We're going to hit it real quick here. And we are going to go. Oh! It's like you feel G-Force, man. When you hit that gas, that bike moves. And it hugs the road really good really good this is an amazing machine and it's such a blast to ride this is something that I feel like everyone should experience especially those people who like to talk shit about Harlan Davidson this slow this ain't no slow bike and like it's meant to rev high as you can see it red lines at 9,000 rpms I didn't even get into the power zone like, once you hit, like, I'd say, like, 5,000 RPM or 4,500, you feel it kick in. And it's like, it just kicked in. It, it's, it's insane. The amount of power that this bike has, I'm sorry, it's probably a ton of wind, y'all, because I feel it rushing up my nose. The amount of power that this bike has is literally nuts. So we're going to turn around and go back now. Let's see, where can we? We'll just jump off right here. Ba -ba -ba -da. Boom, boom. This is an amazing handling motorcycle. It's just fun. That's all. I mean, I can't say nothing else about it. It's a fun bike to ride. And it gets to such a high speed so quickly. So quickly. It's like so much faster than my 883 with my 1250 build in it. Man. This bike moves. It moves. I don't know if it's moving mountains, but it's definitely moving my soul and putting a smile on this face. I love these. <laughs> this, the, like, if um, if I could put another bike in the garage, which I can't. I only got a one-car garage, and there's five in there right now. I don't think I can fit no more. And if I tried to bring another one home, I'd probably get back slapped, like pimp slapped with the powder. i get Will Smith slapped by Miss Ryder so yeah that ain't happening but if I could get one of these I would or if Harley Davidson loaned me one for like six months I'd find a way to squeeze it in there so that, that way I can get out and make some content on this bike because it's a blast that's what I think the problem is it's not getting a lot of exposure especially not as much as it should this bike should be getting way more exposure and content made on it and then more people will understand its function I think people are confused on what this bike is. This bike is a fun beast. It's a monster. It's meant to ride aggressively and to not just, you ain't supposed to pussyfoot around this bike, man. You're supposed to ride it. You're supposed to ride it. You're supposed to hit them high RPMs 
supposed to feel that acceleration. You're supposed to be a hooligan and have some fun on it. That's what this bike is made for. If you haven't ridden one, definitely do so. Like run out to your dealership and say, hey man, I want to ride a sports dress. Just ride one. See what it's about. Quit listening to other people that like, oh that bike's uncomfortable. Oh that bike is this, oh that bike is that, oh that bike sounds like a sewing machine. Yes, it does. Sounds like a sewing machine. But I don't care. You can sound like a sewing machine. I'm all about that sewing machine life. I'm gonna wear a shirt that say I ride a sewing machine. I don't care. <laughs> But make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm hoping everybody has an amazing Christmas. If I don't get to talk to y'all before Christmas, since it's in like one, two, three, four, four days from when I'm sitting on this bike. But I hope you get what you want for Christmas. Hope you have a stupendous Christmas. Hope Santa comes and visits you. Most of y'all probably been naughty and not nice. So yeah, there's probably that also. But look here, they got a couple of sports directors out here. So stop in and ride one. Why not? Why the hell not? Whew, that was fun. That was fun. That was my pre-Christmas motorcycle ride smile face. Look, there's twins. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Comment down below. Do all that stuff that everyone tells you to do. Bell notifications. Comment, comment, comment. Help the algorithm. And I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully before Christmas. But if not, after Christmas. And Merry Christmas. Hope y'all have a wonderful holiday. Love y'all.